Hello all, greetings from Quest Zero. Welcome back to the channel. Today, in our series of mechanical measurements and metrology, we try to look into the numerical on slip gauges. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for continuous updates on the channel. And if you like the content, do like and share the video. The slip gauge set that we are going to uh, concentrate on are the M112 set. So M112 as the number suggests there are 112 pieces in the slip gauge set. There are 49 and 49, 4, 9 and 1 group of block, uh, gauges, 1.0005, there is only one slip gauge, 1. 1.001 to 1.009 with an incremental step of 0 0.001 there are 9 in number 1.01 to 1.49 with incremental step of 0 0.01 there are 49 pieces similarly 0 0.5 to 24.5 in incremental steps of 0 0.5 there are 49 pieces from 25 to 100 with an incremental step of 25 there are four pieces we'll try to look into the very first problem wherein it states that we need to build a length of 35.4875 millimeters using the m112 set of slip gauges and it also says that use two protector slips of 25 millimeter each so this is the overall length that we need to build which is equal to 35.4875 mm but the question also states that there are two protector slips of 2.5 and 2.5 mm on either side so on the left as well as on the right or if you want to invert the image it is on the bottom and also on the top you will have two slips of 2.5 mm which are the protector slips so if i subtract this length measurement from the overall length that i was supposed to build the overall was 35.4875 now since i have two slips which are protecting the slip gauges and each having 2.5 mm in length the overall length to which I need to build the slip gauge reduces to 30.4875. So the dimension remaining to be built using gauges is 30.4875. So using M112 set, I will take the assistance of the table on the right. The very first slip gauge that I am going to build is, let us consider the third decimal place in the required dimension to be built third it is the last decimal place not the third so 30.4875 the last decimal place contains a value of 5 so in order to satisfy that particular decimal place i need to look for a slip gauge in the set which has 5 in its last or the fourth decimal position so there is only one block 1.0005 which has 5 in the fourth decimal place so i'll use that particular slip gauge so this is the one minus one point so this is the 1.0005 slip gauge let us consider the black colored rectangular box to be the 1.0005 slip gauge so what is the remaining dimension now when I subtract 1.0005 from 30.4875 I will be left with 29.4870 So this 29.4870 I will now look for the last decimal place having a value So the, the third decimal place is now the last decimal place with a value and it has a value of 7. Now I need to look into the 
slip gauge set wherein I get a slip gauge which has 7 as the third decimal place. If I observe in the third decimal places, I have 9 slip gauges 1.001 to 1.009 with incremental steps of 0.001. It means that I do have 1.007 inside the group. So I'll use minus or I'll use 1.007. So let us assume the next slip gauge as 1.007 in the pictorial buildup. So when I use 1.007, the out of 29.487, the dimension that remains to be built further is 28.48. So now again I look for the last decimal place which has a value and it is the second decimal place with a value of 8. Now if I do observe now for the second decimal places containing the value of 8, I have slip gauges from 0 0.01 to 1.49. So out of these, we also have an option of choosing either 1.08, 1.18, 1.28, 1.38 and 1.48. All these four slip gauges that I mentioned contain 8 in the second decimal place. But remember that whenever you can use the highest uh, slip gauge, thereby reducing the number of slip gauges that you are going to employ, then always such slip gauges are preferred. For example, for 1.48, I can either go with 1.20 plus 1.18, I can go with 1.38 plus 1.10. I can go with or 1.08 plus 1.40. So all these combinations are possible. But when I do have a slip gauge which gives me 1.48 directly, that particular slip gauge should always be preferred. Thereby, instead of using two slip gauges to build 0.48, we are using only one slip gauge to build 0.48. So minimum number of slip gauges should always be employed while building the slip gauges. So I'll use the 1.48 slip gauge. The dimension that remains now is 27 mm. Now in order to build 27 mm, I don't have a slip gauge which gives me exactly 27 mm. But I do have from 0.5 to 24.5 in increments of 0.5, 49 slip gauges. So 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2. This 2 mm slip gauge I can use. So when I use 2 mm slip gauge out of the remaining 27 mm, I will be left with a slip gauge of 25 mm to be built. And this 25 mm slip gauge is directly obtained from the last set, which is 25 to 100 mm. In incremental steps of 4, we have in incremental steps of 25 we have 4 slip gauges so 25 mm slip gauge is directly available so when I substitute this 25 mm slip gauge I get the stack up as shown on the right side so this slip gauges which are obtained from the M112 set they make up a dimension of 30.4875 the remaining 5 mm is built using the protector slips on either end. So this is the very first numerical on building of slip cages. In the further sessions, we will take up other examples. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for up continuous updates on the channel. Thank you.